I've been waiting to do this rant for a while, but I'm finally doing it. This rant is on bronies, Pega sisters, and similar people. If you don't know what a brony is, I think you're pretty well safe, but I'm going to tell you anyway just to ruin your life. Bronies are male fans of a show called My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Now, I know what you're thinking, oh my god, it's girly and stuff. I kind of think it is too. Honestly, I don't see how that show got so popular, but then again, this is the internet, and people on websites like 4chan will happily latch on to anything cute and make it a meme, like, you know, Boxy or LOL Cats. But first, I'm just going to get two things out of the way. First off, bronies are not the same as furries. Furries are different people, and they're not all My Little Pony fans. There are bronies into the furry fan base, though, and while there are a ton of them, and while there's also a ton of pony art and porn on E621 and Fur Affinity and similar sites, bronies and furries are not the same thing. There are even a bunch of furries who dislike My Little Pony. And another thing. While the stereotype that they're the same thing, that they're closet furries and stuff, not all are furries. I mean, you, as you can see, there are some of them who, they're just creepy. Now on to the rant. The My Little Pony fanbase is one of the most annoying fanbases out there, especially due to the fact that they're everywhere, they're on every single website. You can go to a website, um, pick a random topic, cars computers, um, video games, there will be about 20 people, no, way more into ponies. I mean, that's how widespread it is. And especially due to the fact that of their group mentality, I wouldn't care if they weren't all like, oh my god, you don't watch our show, die in a fire, or I'm a love and tolerate the shit out of you because you don't watch my favorite show. And... The demographics are almost always the same for them. They're almost always teenage males, you know, the kind who are on Xbox Live screaming Call of Duty, or younger adults, you know, the ones who are basically in college and on 4chan all the time, and that stuff. They happen to be annoying in real life, too. Is I was actually at an anime con once. I forget which one it was, but there were these bronies, and they were like, Oh my god, you don't watch our show! And they were pretty obnoxious, wearing all sorts of pony shit, and when you see them in real life, it's like seeing a Sonic fanboy in real life. You'll just hate them. Now, I wouldn't care had the fan base not spread like AIDS, like I said earlier. I've seen people wear brony shirts in real life at the places you've least expect them to. I've seen people wear them at freaking Frisch's Big Boy while eating out. And I've seen fail cosplays at anime conventions, usually involving rainbow wigs or pink c coats or hoodies to try to look like Rainbow Dash without fursuiting at all. Because as we all know, fursuits are expensive and you'll probably get called to the closet furry even if you're not one if you do one. But I've seen people on DeviantArt ponify everything as well. They're like... Make My Little Pony versions of everything. Oh, let's just take a vector and Photoshop it into a car or 9-11 or World War II. Yes, I've seen them all. I've seen um, Trace, like, actually Trace from the show. I've seen him recolor, use Microsoft Paint to put them in, use a certain thing called Pony Creator, which I'll get to later. And there are so many failed crossover videos on YouTube where they take pony clips in put another audio to it seriously that stuff's old speaking of youtube there's been a ton of weird weird shit uploaded involving bronies you've got brony pizza hut with the bronies going into pizza and actually ordering a pizza and then having someone draw on it hello every pony on equestria daily this is the two rivers brony group we're about to go over to pizza hut and order us a pizza with a little interesting requ oh fluttershy <laughs> gentlemen Onward. Three months of winter coolness and awesome holidays. We've kept our hoodsies warm at home. Time off from work to play. But the food that we've stored is running up. We can't grow. Um, um, two pizzas, um, one meat two lovers. Two pizzas, one meat lovers, one, one cheese, half pepperoni, half pineapple. That's what we're getting. Okay. With ponies drawn on them. Oh, yeah, with, with drawn on the box. We need that drawn on the box. Where's Pinky? Are you guys standing in? Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, no, no we're yeah. placing order. I, I did the last ponies and they did not even look like ponies. Oh, you're, you're the one that did the last one? Yes. All right, let's give her a round of applause, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. All right. You're going to be out there. Yeah, you're going to be out there. Yeah, you're going to be out there. Okay, let me look at this. Make sure that one has the wings, too. Okay. Also, can you put on one of the horns? Really, Sully? Yes. What? What? Yep, shout out to all the unicorns there. All the unicorns out there, not getting forgotten on this. Even though we don't have a twilight spot on the corner or anything. Yeah. This is going to take up so much space on my iPod. It yeah, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Post it, then delete. Like I said, I had 26 episodes of all your lead on it. Yeah, and this is a 32 gig, so. You need to go there. Any thoughts on the ponies on the box? Uh, so far, we're probably going to look like blizzards. Right now, Alright. <laughs> and then the sad part is that there was actually an image posted before that and they were actually trying to copy shit they saw on the internet. You've got the McDonald's unboxing video which involves a brony unboxing ponies in public, not only talking awkward to the girl but also playing with toys in public. Nope. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, this. Uh, hang on. Um, hey, I, I've got the same, the same t uh, t both toy, and it turns out I wanted the, uh, I wanted Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. Which one? Is Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. It, it turns out that, the, that I got both of the same one. Oh, looks like I'm gonna. Well, looks like I'm probably gonna get what I want. Uh, well, t unless, uh, unless they actually know who the heck these, uh, ponies are. I mean, doggone, every, every pony must understand that, uh, oh, yes. Ooh, oh, here they, here they come, here they come. You don't have two of the different ones. Oh, well, oh, that's alright. Uh, well, at least I can't pretend that one's Rainbow Dash and one's Pinkie Pie. What are you doing a video for? Uh, t an unboxing of the Happy Meal toys for YouTube because because uh, there's this huge counterculture of 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 on the internet called bronies. There's this huge counterculture on the internet called bronies and uh, and they have mashups and clips based off this one pony show. All right. At least I explained to her what the whole brony thing meant. Okay, this one's Rarity and this one's Applejack, obviously. Alright, here we go. Just take the broken lambs down. Don't you care about nothing other than Twitter fine? Some party has to. You're making an absolute mess of the town square, Applejack. Yeah, well the storm's gonna make an even bigger mess if we don't tump but take down these loose branches so they don't tumble down on any pony. I simply can't believe why the Pegasus ponies would, uh, would schedule a dreadful downpour this evening, ruining what could be a beautiful sunny day. You have fail meetup videos, which are basically virgin collectives. I mean, imagine a bunch of virgins in one place. Uh, Fuller? Fuller. 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 Yeah, like that. Fuller. Okay, I'm gonna hold it like this. On a mountainside beyond Ponyville, high above the clouds, stands the most magical, beautiful, and glamorous place that every pony dreams of visiting Hollywood. <laughs> Sometimes lucky ponies from all corners of Equestria are invited to Canterlot, where they hope to catch a glimpse of their beloved ruler, Princess Mother Flipping Celestia. Yeah, they kind of toned down the pink a lot. We'll just go quick. Um, I have them in the MP3 folder. Uh, oh, no, it's right there. You have Chris Chan and Michael Dragon 800. Both of those are bronies. You have the Pyromaniac Brony, who, as a joke video, set a 
forest fire in his backyard. Sethissa, your name. And of course, you've got bronies trying to explain it to others with media presentations for class, because as we all know, when you're in class and you're obsessed with something, you always have to take your obsession to school. First, we have Twilight Sparkle. And no, she does not sparkle in the daylight. She is a unicorn pony, which means she can use magic. She is also a prodigy magic student and can be very powerful. She starts out being a social recluse, and she is a bookworm and nerd. A good comparison for her character would be Harry Potter. And this is a clip of a bit of comedy that is actually... Let's not forget about the Mary Sues, Gary Stews, and all the recolors in the My Little Pony fanbase. If you thought the Sonic fanbase was bad with Sonic Chew and all that shit, the My Little Pony fanbase has overtaken the Sonic fanbase already. There are recolors, you've got people going into Microsoft Paint, dumping other colors in on DeviantArt, you've got... There's a program on DeviantArt called Pony Creator, which is a Microsoft Flash, and you just need to open up in your web browser, and all you've got to do is just pick the colors and body type, even though it's not exactly the show anatomy. Due to the way they're drawn, it's pretty obvious you're making a Mary Sue, and they are annoying, especially when half the people on YouTube use them as their avatars and submit them on DeviantArt as quote, art. Some of them even go all the way and just write Mary Sue-ish backstories. And, OMG, this pony is best pony. And then you've got pony porn. Basically, that shit is fucked up. I know it's the fucking internet where people can make porn of everything, but why would you masturbate to a porn of a show intended for Little girls with animals that aren't even that anthro. I mean, sure, they talk, but they're not even that anthro. And then the creator of the show said they were meant to act like 12-year-old girls. Fapping to that not only makes you a pedophile, but it also makes you into bestiality. You guys are sick. And then, yeah, I know, you draw pon porn of every pony, and then you've got Pony Vore. Yes, pictures of ponies and fanfics of them eating each other alive. Why would you enjoy being eaten alive? It's not hot at all. It's nasty as shit. And seriously, who the fuck thinks it's cool to be eaten alive? You guys have some sick fetishes. And then you've got clop fix because clopping, if you don't know, is the brony word for masturbating so they've got clop fix which are basically you know have you seen you know in the sonic fan base how there are shitty fan fiction with r34 and other shit well clop fix are even more common they've got gore vor all kinds of sex i mean just pick a position and there will probably be shit of that and more disgusting fetishes like you know Cupcakes. Basically, if you're not aware, it's a vor fetish fanfic where Pinkie Pie cuts up Rainbow Dash and makes cupcakes with her. This is a real fanfic, people. This is not shit made up. And the worst part is that this shit is allowed on YouTube or sites where it's banned. Like, you can flag it on YouTube and do the broken ass flagging system. They won't even take it down yet if you make a video about how bronies are terrible they'll flag it down and yes there are animated versions of cupcakes on youtube same with shed.move they've got millions of views they're not age restricted but if you upload a parody of bronies or a commentary or even just a video of you destroying a pony because you're bored as shit it'll get flagged instantly while shed or cupcakes will stay up get views stay unflagged I I'm serious. These people are, a lot of these people are messed up in the head and they'll fap to all sorts of shit. Speaking of moronism, like with the flagging and shit, the My Little Pony fanbase is very annoying when it comes to that. If you 
thought retro fags and fan bases for video games are like, Oh my god, Halo 1 is better than 3 because Halo 3 ruined it forever. Bronies are the exact opposite. They will blindly praise friendship is magic, tell everyone who doesn't like it, to give it a chance, but if it's Generation 1, which is like the very first stuff, Oh my god, this is girly shit. Even though these are the people watching Friendship and Magic and defending it through all the stuff. Not only did an Equestria Daily April Fool's page for like 2012 with Generation 1 customs get people butthurt, but if you look up any Generation 1 video, there will be a ton of hate comments on it like, Oh my god, what is this? This isn't ponies. Same with Generation 3. I mean, I'm not a big fan of My Little Pony, but I know on DeviantArt some people who are big fans of it, like... All fans, not just bronies who are like, OMG, Gen 4's best season. They are pretty pissed off at these bronies being so ignorant, even though they are against it, ironically. And, of course, you've got Save Derpy. Save Derpy was pretty much one of the biggest bullshit things to happen to any fan base. Basically, a minor Brack Aaron character who nobody other than bronies gave a shit about Derpy Hooves, or according to the original script, Ditsy Do, made a speaking appearance in one episode. Originally, it was going to be Ditsy Do, but they changed it to be Derpy Hooves as a shout out to the fan base, and they didn't know that Derpy usually meant retarded or some shit like that. So the bronies are excessively happy that it was canon, but, and they were spamming over FB, OMG, Derpy Hooves is canon! But then some people, you know, oversensitive people who complain whenever somebody says retard or any of that shit. They sent letters and Hasbro and The Hub, the network that airs it, complaining about the name. One of them was a Pega sister named Yamino, who also happened to have a deviant art and a Tumblr account. And she was also somewhat close to the people who made the show. So after a bunch of drama bullshit involving Ham Hasbro sending season desists to Wheel of Fine and episodes being pulled off iTunes, the one Derpy Hooves episode. A campaign called Save Derpy started featuring fanboys complaining to Hasbro to put the shirts to take back and put those Derpy Hoof shirts back up and put the episode back up on iTunes. So they put the episode back up on iTunes, but they changed Derpy Hooves' voice. People were pissed. They were going on YouTube, raging, making all those generic ass reaction videos, spamming shitty pony memes like 20% cooler her 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 and other shit and they were blaming it on Yamino and then shit hit the fan when even though she said she didn't do it they got really personal against her they were harassing the shit out of her somebody tried to dox her and then they were just blaming her and then even after the anime animator explained the change some of them calmed down, but there was still raging going on, even after it had long been irrelevant. Just a few days ago, so I heard on DeviantArt, some of them doxxed her and found the address she lived 12 years ago and are spamming her with hate mail and knowing 4chan, probably pizzas and hookers, all in the name of a show for little girls. And then there's the meme spam, which is... Part of why people compare the fan base to the furry fan base. This is probably the last thing I'm going to say, but they'll spam shitty memes that are unfunny and that nobody gives a shit about, like 20% cool or a X is best pony, or even changing it around and using pony speak, like you know, flying Kurt or sh other shit like that, or clop for fap and. It's annoying, and when you're talking with a real person on the internet, they're not going to give a shit on what you're talking about, and you'll just sound like a weirdo. And, of course, the last thing I'm going to say is this. You bronies, especially... I'm mostly referring to the oversensitive ones here, and the ones who are... Take the show way too far. You guys need to chill out. Stop acting butthurt whenever someone doesn't like your show, and worst of all, look yourself in the mirror, guys, and realize you guys are pretty messed up in ways. Thanks for watching, people. Subscribe for more, and I'll probably make more videos on the subject because there's so much wrong with the brony fandom that, or My Little Pony fandom, that 
shit's going to happen later on after I upload this video. I guarantee it. Just look at Save Derpy. It's only going to take one more Save Derpy and shit's going to hit the fan. And let's not forget, since Chris Chan and Michael Dragon are in the Sonic fanbase, and there's probably going to be versions of them in the Pony fanbase too. And let's not forget, both Chris Chan and Michael Dragon are bronies. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.